with the details. Ashmit. Right, so we are picking up is that the Supreme Court has given a go-ahead to the CBI to probe allegations of bribery as far as Indalco is concerned. Now, just to bring our viewers uh, up to speed, the CBI, as a part of its raids, which it, it had conducted as a part of its uh, coal cam investigations with respect to allegation of coal blocks, uh, in one of its raids had also discovered a diary which uh, allegedly contained details of uh, kickbacks flowing from Hindalco to the Imam Ministry. It had details of unaccounted money. And that was the concern that had been raised in one of the uh, PILs here filed before the Apex Court, which sought more details, which sought a CBI probe. Now, the CBI, interestingly, initially had uh, dismissed uh, the diary, had not probed it along the lines of the kickbacks, but rather had held uh, that there is no association as far as the coal block allegation is concerned and hence does not merit uh, an investigation. However, after being uh, probed by, after being uh, probed into it by the Supreme Court, they clarified their stance a little later, did a U-turn and held that prima facie this was a case that could be deemed fit for a probe for an investigation. And today we find that the Supreme Court has unleashed uh, the CBI on Hindalco. It has given very explicit directions that the CBI needs to go ahead, needs to probe these allegations of kickbacks, needs to probe the details, the unaccounted cash within the four walls of the prevalent statute of the relevant uh, statute at this point, the relevant clause. So that clearly as, as of this moment, uh, the CBI is being given a go ahead by the apex court to go Hindalco or uh, the allegations that were raised on uh, bribery. Back to you. All right, Ashmit, thank you.